Super Dean here, and welcome back to season. Oh, season one of Walking Dead. No, no, it's not. <laughs> Hello, Super Dean here, and welcome back to Telltale's Walking Dead season one. We are now on episode two. Start for help. We finished off episode one last time, where it finished off with Larry punching us in the face, telling us he knows who we are, that we are Lee, is a convicted murderer, and we are now trying to survive, I guess. And we saw in the trailer we're going to go to someone's called Saint John's Dairy Farm, and we're going to milk some cows. And such. So let's see what happens. Shadow Ray. I've done. Apologies again. I will be looking to the right to see the laptop. Not joined by a big this time. He is sleeping in the hall. Previously on the Walking Dead. Walking Dead. I know who you are. We don't kind of seen that already. Oh, I got another road. good one. <laughs> You've been all by yourself through this? She has. Yeah, I want my parents to come home now. And you, you keep an eye on that front door. You're our lookout. It's Doug. You got it. And I'm Carly. Okay, Carly. You'll shift in with Doug when he needs it. You got it, boss. <laughs> son, what a bitch. One of them is bitten. It's got, either oh, him yeah. or your son. I say it's him. That. Yeah. Not damn right. Out on his ass with those things. Hey, Kali. Oh my God. And I don't give a shit about what yeah, happens to language. you. Language. But if anything happens to my daughter or that little girl you've got with you, <laughs> you watch your ass. You watch your ass. I have a nice ass, apparently. The game series adapts the choices you make. The story is tailored by how you play. <laughs> Are you sitting comfortably? Good. We shall begin. <laughs> Three months later. Oh. Oh, damn! Nice one, Lee. Looking like a badass. Damn. Who are you? What'd they get this time? Uh, looks like a rabbit. Uh. <sighs> well, that's another meal lost. <sighs> I still can't believe we went through all that commissary food in three months. It seemed like so much at the time. Yeah, but maybe. You oh, you were by yourself. The door. Mm. Yeah, except then I'd probably be food by now. Trust me, I have no regrets. Alright. Yeah, rabbit's hardly a meal, Mark, but I'd take it. We're all hungry. No kidding. Hungry, hungry hippos. When I accidentally grabbed for Carly's rations the other night, I thought she was going to take off my hand. <laughs> We're all on edge. Just cut us some slack. Walking yeah, through the woods. you're right. I wish I knew for sure how much food we have left. Uh, You'll have to ask Lily. Mm. She's the one handling the rations. Or mishandling it, if you ask Kenny. He's just worried about his kid getting enough. I worry about Clementine, too. Yeah. You think Kenny's having any more luck than we are out here? Probably not. I sure hope so. Yeah, between the lack of food and Kenny and Lily fighting all the time, things are getting pretty tense back at the motor inn. Tense. You know, Kenny's been talking about taking off if he can get that RV running. Uh, He's got a wife and son to look out for. And they're safest in a big group. Going out on his own will get them all killed. Say. Can't blame him, though. Yeah. Did you hear Larry going off on him last night? What's the old guy's deal, anyway? Just an Seems old like guy? He's got a problem with you in particular. Yeah. <laughs> but... Larry's just uh, looking out for his daughter. Hey. I know Lily. She can take care of herself. Yeah. He needs to take that energy and put it towards finding us some more food. And I know Lily thinks he's getting weaker, but the guy's all muscle. He's a walking pile driver. I know I wouldn't want to be stuck in a room with him. And didn't he punch you in the face one time? He did, yeah. Uh, knock me flat. He did, yeah. Betty. 
Hi, birdie. What you found? It's a long shot. I'd hate to waste the bullets. Trust me. If I don't think I can hit it, I won't shoot. Mm. Ugh. Ah! Shit! Was that what? Kenny? I don't Language, know. Language, but no. Come on! Everyone swears so much in this game. I'm having to put like parental advisors on it. Run, 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 run. Running through the woods. Ah! This way. What the? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yeah. Oh shit, no, no, please don't kill us. We just want to help our teacher, we'll leave, I swear. Hey, you guys okay? Yeah. Get, get it off, get it off, God damn it! Get, get it off me. Travis, maybe they can help. This might be the yeah. same guys that raided our camp, and we barely got away from that. Where did you what camp? guys? Why the fuck is there a bear trap out here? Language. It's okay. We're not gonna hurt you. Don't listen to them, Ben. Please, just let us go. We're not a threat to you. Kid, chill out. We'll try to help you, but you gotta shut the fuck up. Why are we all gonna swear? You gotta help us. Please. Jesus. Ben, shut up. My dad was special forces. I know what I'm doing. Oh, just no, you see don't. if you can get him out. After that, you can leave us or whatever. I don't care. Please! We gotta get him out of there! Yeah. Oh god, thank you! Fine, but you gotta hurry! All hurry, that noise! Please, hurry! Oh, oh. oh god, here come uh, the zombies. Lee, this <laughs> trap's been altered. There's no release latch. Altered? Oh no. Zombies! Oh, shit. They're Walk. coming! It's now or never, Lee! Walk. Please! No zombies here. Get me out of this! Mark, get the boys back! Penny, keep those walkers off of me! Why would somebody do uh, this? <laughs> Lee, do uh, something! Why is this happening to us? No, nope, it's not. Please! Get is me he, out of this! He's make it! The you have to get him out! You have to! Oh, that's not gonna. Oh, oh. please hurry! Oh, here we go. Oh God, Lee, it has to be now. No, no, no! No. Oh. Try the trap again. Anything, please. Damn it, Lee, just cut off his fucking leg. Oh. Oh. I'm sorry, but we have to go now. Ah. Come on. Again, again. Ah. One more time. Both times to ah. Oh, it came out. Oh God. Shit. Is Language. He... he passed out. Where's his leg gone? I think it's that. Grab him and let's go. Oh. Yeah, time to go. Move, move, move. Behind you! Travis! Come on, come on, we gotta move! Oh, oh he's gonna be killed in his own shit! Oh, you stupid shit. No! The Walking Dead. Starved for help. That was his own fault. I'm sorry, you say someone's just behind you, you don't just go and fall over, you plant your feet, turn, then run away. Power run. All that jazz. All that jazz. Apologies if you need buzzing as well, I've got my fan on. Keeping the room cool. It's still warm. You know it's been raining up most of the day. Episode 2, Star for Help. Ooh, sweaty. It's hard work being a Larry. Wait, where's Clementine's hat?
That's not good. Rustling in the bushes. What could it be? What's her rustling away? Where have we got all these guns from all of a sudden as well? Clementine, stop kicking the ball. Freya. A stern vittle. Get the gates open! We've got wounded! Shit! What the hell are they doing? Come on! Come oh on! Oh my god! What happened? Oh god! Hell what what's going on? We don't have time to explain. Wait. Are you okay? Get him into the truck. I'll see what I can do. Cat! Okay? Can you fix him? Jesus, Ken! Lee! I, I don't know! Lee! What the hell? You can't just be bringing new people here! What are you thinking? Hey, you want to calm you... down for a fucking hey, minute? No, I don't. I want to know why you thought bringing more mouths to feed was a good idea. We left, we left the other one behind. Other one? Jesus, Lee. What if there are more of them? What if they followed you here? There wasn't anybody else. Just us. How do you know he's not lying? Well, hang on. We haven't even talked to these people yet. Maybe they can be helpful. Come on, Lily. These are people. People trying to survive just yeah. like us. We've got to stick together to survive. The only reason you're here is because you had food. Enough for all of us. But that food is almost gone. We've got maybe a week's worth left. And I don't suppose you guys are carrying any groceries, are you? Mm. Um, uh, no? Fine, you guys fight it out then. <sighs> Welcome to the family, kid. Come over here and huh? see what I drew. But, what? No, I... Just come on, okay? You, know, you like to good, think you're the good leader of this group, but we can make our own goddamn decisions. Oh, this here they go again. your own personal dictatorship. <laughs> Potato chip. Oh, come on, you're being dramatic. Everything always turns into a power struggle between you two. I'm not going to be a part of that. Hey, I didn't ask to lead this group. Everyone was happy to have me distributing the food when there was enough to go around, but now that it's running out, suddenly I'm a goddamn Nazi. It doesn't matter who's in charge. Those people are here now. I guess we just have to decide what happens next. No, Lee, it does matter. One person can't be in charge of everything. Well, you know, it might feel safe for you to sit on the fence. But sooner or later, you're gonna have to decide whose side you're on. Yeah. I don't see any of you stepping up to make the hard decisions. My girl's got more balls than all of you combined. Oh, go have a heart attack, Larry. Why don't you go help Mark with the wall? You think this is easy for me? Oh, no. Everyone's starting to hate me because I'm the one that rations the food. But nobody else wants to. You know what? I'm not doing it tonight. You do it. There's today's food rations, but there's not enough for everyone. Oh, God. Good luck. Nice. Nice. What have I got? Four? Uh, jerky... Snack, snack, and an apple. Well, I'm not giving it to Larry. Larry's a dick. I can call him that. How's the new guy? Is he gonna be okay? I don't know. Can you give me a hand real quick? Sure. What do you need? Yeah, Just you need. apply some pressure here while I try to close this up. You know, I thought I was starting to get used to this. Sewing up people's injuries. But uh, you I never mean, get used to it. Cuts and bruises are one thing, but Lee, this man has no leg. Well, like, do you know what else to do? I did the right thing. Yeah, I knew you did. The right thing is just scary sometimes, I guess. Well, you've done all you can, Lee. Thanks for the help. No problem. Go ahead and check in on the others. I need a little space here anyway. Just gonna keep working on him. There's a very rude bumper sticker there. Ah, well, who do we give the food? Ah, I guess, guess it's Ben then. How you doing, Clementine? Hmm. Okay. Where's your hat? Yeah. Oh no. Can you help me find it? Sure. When did you lose it? Hmm. I had it a couple days ago. 
I promise. If I find it, I'll let you know. Mm. Thank you. Okay, Clem. I've got to take care of some things. Why don't you go back to playing with Duck for a while? Okay. Oh, let's see. Who do we give food to then? We've got to give it to Clementine, obviously, haven't we? Can't not give her nothing. Here, Clem. You need something to eat. What do I give her? Give her half of an apple. I love apples. I thought you Thank would. You. Are there more? That's no, the last one. That was the last one. Oh, um. Enjoy. Enjoy it. Hey. You deserve it. Come on, come on. I guess duck, maybe. Hey, duck. How about a little food? Huh? Here. Give him cheese and crackers. Yeah. Oh man, I'm so hungry. Duck and his family appreciate that. You okay there, Ben? Hey, is my friend gonna make it? Uh, I don't know. But maybe. Angela will do her best. I promise. Mm. I can't believe you chopped off his leg. What was I supposed was no to do? Way. Yeah. How you holding up, kid? Yeah. Uh, well, I. Um, I suppose we know it's Ben. I keep wondering tissue. if I could have done something to help. You know, some kind of. I don't know. Something. I'm you did sure all you, you could. did all you could. Mm. Yeah, maybe. Relax. We'll get your friend back to normal in no time. <laughs> oh, that's a big sure if. I hope so. That's a big if there, Lee. Hey, Carly. Lily has me handing out the food. Mm. Ugh, that can't be an easy job. It's not. I won't be able to feed everyone. What should I do? Well, if you wanted to get in good with Lily, I'd make sure Larry gets some food. Even though that guy can be a real dick sometimes. Yeah, he can be. On the other hand, giving that food to Kenny and his family might make him remember you. If he decides to take off in that RV one day. Duck's already got some what food. What about you? You need food too. We yeah. all need food. I can't tell you what to do. But whatever happens, I know you'll be trying to do the right thing. Thanks, Carly. Yeah, I guess. Back in a bit. Where's Kenny? Word's getting out that you want to leave the motor in. Hmm. That ain't no secret, Lee. It's probably our best bet. Look, you've been good to me and my family. You saved Duck from those monsters, and you stood up to Larry at the drugstore. I won't forget that. You and Clem are welcome to come with us. Ah, oh, thanks, man. But... The coast does sound like a smart idea. Maybe that is the best thing. Mm. I know that it is. I'm taking my family. Want something to eat? Back in a bit. <laughs> just, uh, just teasing with the food. Uh, but how do I get out of here? How do I get out of here? Who else do- oh, do you want some food, love? Here. Cheese and crackers? I don't want anything from you. Oh, do you- Fine. Fine. Fine! Well, can you give me anything if you don't want anything, then? Stuff yours. Here, eat something. <sighs> Why don't you give it to Doc? I'm a little busy with your mess right now. Ma I need space, Lee. I'm just trying to help. I'm sorry. Uh, well... Oh, I'm not wasting it on Larry. Stuff Larry. We don't like Larry. Want something to eat? Here, Kenny. Take this. How about my boy? He eat yet? Yeah. Yeah, I gave him something. Sure, then hand it over. I'm starved. Thanks. What's left? Uh, some of these people have gone longer than me without food. Yeah. They're the ones that need it. How's it going, Lee? From up here, it looks like you're playing favorites. Oh, shut up. I'm gonna go give Larry something, I guess. 
Will you hold the damn board steady? I'm trying. I, I didn't realize I was getting this weak already. What do you want? A handout? Oh, I got 60 cents in my pocket. If you'll shut up and quit being such a pansy. See, I want to give it to him. Uh, take it, Larry. Oh, will I give it to Wait, no, no. Yeah, give it to Larry. <sighs> Here, Larry. Lily would want you to keep your strength up. That girl needs to quit worrying about me so much. Oh, man. Just seeing the food is driving me crazy. Sorry. Do you need help with the wall? Nope. Actually, we could use your axe. Do you mind if we take it? Yeah, give us that thing for a bit. Here, Mark, this should help. Thanks. Hey, I'm the one doing all the work over here. Yeah, I'm trusting you, didn't you with think an axe. You to give me the axe? Trust you with an axe, never. Come on, Larry. Cut Lee some slack. He knows you're just out to protect Lily. He told me so. Just like he's trying to protect Clementine. He... Oh, oh. I just need some food. Go on this long, I'll just give you some to eat. Make anybody cranky. It's a hat, isn't it? You're gonna say, aren't you? Not such an easy job, is it? Well, no. Never said it was. It's okay. I know you're still watching out for me. I don't envy you. I don't know how you have the strength to do this every day. Yeah, I don't have a choice. Hey, thanks for looking out for me and my family. Thanks. I'm serious about that offer to come with us. You've more than earned a ride on the RV with me. Still, I guess some people aren't going to be happy with your choices. I've done reasonable. I've kind of played the third a little bit. It's just Mark and Carly. No, what are you shaking your head for? Yeah. Ken! Lee! Come here, please. He didn't make it, did he? He lost too much blood. Oh. God damn it. I'm getting sick of this shit. Ken, come back. There's nothing... Let him go, Katja. What? He just needs time. It's been a rough morning. Yeah. That man you brought, I tried, but he was never going to survive. Well, at least he's not our problem anymore. What about the other kid? Whoa! <laughs> Gee, I forgot to... Oh, Back in! Back in! Move! Move! Shit! It's stuck! Oh, how bad are you? Give me the face! Give me the face! Hang on, we're gonna pull the truck, aren't we? Pull the truck! Oh, that's gonna help. Finally, someone steps in to something decent. You okay? Yeah. Thanks. Why'd you bring him here in the first place, asshole? Dad, calm down. You're gonna get us all killed! No, you're gonna have a heart attack. Calm down. Why didn't you tell us he was bitten? What? He was bitten, and you didn't say a goddamn word! But he wasn't bitten, I swear! No, he wasn't, wasn't well, your not-bitten friend here came back to life and tried to kill my wife! What?! Wait, you all don't know? What the hell are you talking about? Uh. It's not the bite that does it. Uh. You come back no matter how you die. If you don't destroy the brain, that's just what happens. Dun dun dun! It's gonna happen to all of us. Infected? Everyone? I I guess so. I don't know. I all I know is that I've seen people turn who I know were never bitten. Mm. When I first saw it happen, we were all hiding out in a gym and everybody thought we were finally safe. But one of the girls, Jenny Pitcher, I think, I guess she couldn't take it. She took some pills. A lot of them. Oh dear. Someone went in the girls' room the next morning and God. Back off! Whoa. Whoa, lady, relax. Me and my brother, we, 
We just want to know if y'all can help us out. I said back off, Carly. We don't want any trouble. Of course, uh, n neither do we. Uh, I'm Andy St. John. This there is my go. brother Dan. We're just out looking for gasoline. Looks like you folks got the motel locked down, which, which is fine, but uh, if you could spare any gas, well, we'd be much obliged. Why do you need gas? Yeah. Our place is protected by an electric fence. Generators provide the electricity. Our generators run on gas. Look, we own a dairy farm a few miles up the road. If y'all be willing to lower your guns, we, we can talk about some kind of trade. Mm, sounds too good to be true. How y'all doing on food? We got plenty at the dairy. Oh, sounds Lee, tempting. Why don't you and Mark check the place out? See if it's legit. I'm going with you. I got your back if anything seems fishy. Cool. So, uh, what are y'all thinking? Okay. You got a deal. We'll bring some gas to your dairy. In exchange, you give us some food to bring back. We'll see how it goes from there. Sounds fair. A couple yeah. gallons should power one of our generators for a while. Still. Sounds very, very dodgy. Right, so, this dairy. We'll have to end it there, though, for now. So, we're doing good. Doing good. Not doing too bad. We have a new survivor to the group, Ben and Mark. Two new survivor groups. And we've managed to do some of the food. Keep some people happy. Some people aren't hungry and upset and annoyed. And we'll see what happens next time. So, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see you in the next one. Super Dean. Out.